Hello Virgo and welcome to your October 2018 monthly reading. This is for Virgo. If this resonates with you Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Virgo, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. One more. If you would like a private reading with me, something more specific to your current situation, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo for October 2018. For Virgo. This is for Virgo. Mm. And there you are. Oh. All right, so communication coming in, right? Now these energies can be interchangeable, so take them however they resonate with you. Lots of communication. You could have met someone over the internet or just a lot of messages coming your way. Fast moving, very passionate, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. Somebody might be shooting some love arrows at you, Virgo. We have the Eight of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? So, at the heart of the reading, we have um, a, a spark here, most definitely a new beginning, full of some sexual chemistry here, passion, a passionate new beginning. Um, yeah, somebody has really, um, you know, given off that spark. Ace of Wands, this is fire, more fire. And what's crossing that is um, a family situation, right? Commitments. So um, there could be... What I'm feeling here, Virgo, is that you have established this happy home life for yourself this um and and you've done it right this is yours you have established this uh family dynamic that you're happy with everybody is you know doing their thing everybody's you know uh very domestically blissful right now but there's this spark there's this new beginning outside of this family dynamic. We have this Ten of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay? Now, however, however this resonates with you. Okay? I feel like you have established a very happy home right now. But I feel this fresh energy with this Ace of Wands someone that has sparked your passion, that has gotten, you know, your engines revved up, a lot of communication between the two of you. At the root of the reading, you're kind of undecided on what you want to do about this. You need more time, you need more information, you want to know if this spark is going to go anywhere, if this spark can lead to um, you incorporating this person into your happy home life that you have established and you have established it all on your own okay um so you need more time you need more um information you're being being very guarded with your emotion right now you see how her arms are crossed over her chest so you're taking time right now i feel like you're seeing how this is going to go you're not talking to anybody about it, okay? And you have been, you know, hurt before, so your emotions are very guarded. In the recent past, or in the past in general, you have closed out um, a very painful chapter of your life, Virgo. And this is starting fresh. This is going to start a new chapter. 
here for you. Maybe something that you're very passionate about, but I feel like it is a person, a fresh energy here. Um, a whole new chapter, right? You're starting over again. And you have established this, even after all of this pain and heartache, you have established a happy domestic situation, a tranquil home life for yourself and others around you. And then all of a sudden, there's this spark. There's this sexual attraction to this new energy. And right now, you're, you know, kind of blocking your emotions right now. You want to see how this is going to gonna flow. Um, this is you in the near future. This is your energy on the hamster wheel, taking care of everyday needs and wants of others, being very selfless, being very practical, being very down to earth, taking your time, of course. And um, male or female, doesn't matter. It does not matter. Um, general reading, right? But this is your energy. Very focused on career, focused on work, focused on everyone around you. But what about you, Virgo? What about you? You've created this happy home. Everybody is tranquil. Everybody is, is okay. What about you, Virgo? Hmm? Are you going to go with this spark? Something that's really, um, you know, fired you up, lit your flame again? At the, um, what's crowning this reading is the high priestess. You're not talking about this with anybody. Um, you're, you're not allowing this person to meet anyone. You want to see where this is going. You want to take your time with this. Um, you want to make sure that you are absolutely safe in opening up your emotions, in opening up your inner sanctum to this person. You know, this um, happy home that you've created for yourself and others around you. You want to make sure that this person is safe. You want to make sure that this person is um, in it for more than just sex before you bring emotion into the situation, right? So you're not talking about it to anyone. You're using your instincts. You're using your intuition to fill the situation out. This is you coming through, right? You're getting over this painful chapter in your life. You're putting a close to it. You're trying to heal from all of this hurt and pain, this betrayal, all of this um, dramatic endings, all of these swords in your back. You're still trying to heal from that. You're taking your time. Um, Ten of Swords, this is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This person, however, is coming through. They want a victory here with you, Virgo. They um, are sincere, okay? This Ace of Swords, all about clarity, all about truthful communication, and the two of you have been talking quite a bit. Um, and they want to continue that. They want to continue to get to know you. They want a victory here with you, okay? That's what they want. And they're offering you sincerity. They want to start things off right. Um, they're willing to, you know, go with the flow. They just want honesty and they're bringing you honesty, okay? I don't think you, in this past situation that you're trying to recover from, I don't think honesty was um, real big in that situation, right? Very painful for you, but you are, and you're very guarded. You've established yourself. And I feel like this is a new energy coming in and they want a victory here, but you're using that intuition, right? You're using that intuition to fill this person out, but just know that they are sincere. They are sincere here in your hopes and your fears. Um, I feel like you've been manifesting this person, you've been bringing them in, and this could be someone that um, you've been uh, visualizing that you've been hoping for that you've been manifesting in the right way because they are coming through as sincere we have the magician here right so you've been working on this 
you've been getting the ball rolling. You see potential with this person and you want you want new beginnings. You want a new chapter and you want it to go the way you want it to go this time. You don't want someone that's going to come in and ruin what you have established. You want you don't want other people's bad choices anymore to create all of this havoc and chaos and change in your life. So I feel like you've taken control of, of your life and you are able to provide not only for yourself but everyone around you. You've created this sacred space for yourself and you don't just let anyone in. Okay, you don't let just anyone in your sacred space because you've worked hard for that. The outcome here is a victory. You're going to move forward with this. Okay, you're going to move forward with this. You're moving forward um, to this next chapter of your life. The chariot here. And um, I feel like, you know, you're going to let this person in. It's going to take some time, but there's a victory here. This is for Virgo. Please clarify the chariot for Virgo. Please clarify the chariot for Virgo. Yeah. Because you don't want another broken heart here. You don't want to feel this pain here. This is why, you know, I feel like maybe you're a little blocked here. But there's going to be a victory in this. And you want to know why? Because you've been manifesting this. You're going to get your wish fulfillment here. Victory and wish fulfillment. It's time to move past. It's time to charge forward and release this energy. Release this broken heart. It's time to charge ahead. It's time to have victory over this energy. It's time to heal. It's time for a new chapter. You will be victorious over this. You will get your wish fulfillment. Okay? This person not only has passion for you and is coming through as a very sincere new energy, but this is what you've been manifesting. And I think you've been manifesting it pretty well because this is saying... This is the universe saying with this wish fulfillment card, your wish is my command, Virgo. Right? What is that movie? The Princess Bride? As you wish, Princess Buttercup? <laughs> this is exactly what's going on here. Nine of Cups. This is uh, wish fulfillment. This is happiness. You're going to find your happiness again. This person will open up their emotions to you, and I feel like you will open up to them. All right? Victory here, Virgo. Victory after um, a big-time broken heart. New chapters, new beginnings. This is, this is a very nice reading. As you wish. This is for Virgo, for October 2018. This is for Virgo, for October 2018. This is for Virgo, oops, this is for Virgo, for October 2018. Oh my God. Soulmate. This could very well be your soulmate. <laughs> oh my God, Virgo. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is what you've been manifesting. And look, separation. There could be some distance from you. Especially with that Eight of Wands, you may have met them on through the internet. I don't know, but... Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like there's distance between the two of you. And if that, you know, this could also be speaking of this, you know, letting go of this 
past energy, something that you have cut off, something that you're moving past. And what are you moving towards? Right? Victoria, soulmate. I haven't seen this card come up for any of the readings so far for October. Not once. You're the only one that got the soulmate card this time, Virgo. Wow. Wish fulfillment with a soulmate. I think I'm going to title this As You Wish because that is exactly what's happening here. Whatever you want is yours because you've been, you've been pulling it in. You've been working on it. You've been working hard. You've been manifesting. Working that law of attraction. All right, Virgo, so that is your reading for October 2018. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. Um, I'm going to be going live, of course, with the dailies around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, Friday is the live Love, Lust, or Lost show, so check that out. And that's also around noon Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you have enjoyed this. It's a very nice reading. I love it. I love this reading. Um, yeah. Next week I'll be getting out the How Do They Feel About You series. So check that out. And we will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful week. And God bless.